What's going on, everybody? This is Troy Rawlings, and welcome to Meet the. And I'm excited today because we have another phenomenal female entrepreneur. Everybody knows her as your girl Tasha. I'm going to jump right into it because she's going to need every bit of this little bit of time we're going to give her to blast away around the international uh, stratosphere. She's holding it down. In the DMV, your girl Tasha. What's going on, Tasha? How are you? Hey, what's up, Troy? It's all good. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. See, you, y'all don't get the pre-show. Y'all just get me sipping to get myself together. But uh, I'm like hot and sweating and bothered. And Tasha's. Mm-hmm. And I'm calling them out. I need some of your Adam, whatever it is. I need the Adam to eat. Guys, y'all need to see everything he does before the interview. He was he was greasing up his lips and everything. Okay, he had to go get a cup. I mean, I just don't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now that's <laughs> wait, wait. Cut, the, cut the camera. Cut the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, cut the I feel camera. like burning back. Cut the camera. You know, no, what you get when you oh. get with your girl Tasha. Yeah, you gotta grease. You know, uh, I the lips. You can't not have. Chapstick was the greatest invention. I got to get Chapstick to do a sponsorship. Chapstick is the greatest invention. Once I learn about Chapstick, I got to keep the lips. You know, I can't LL these lips. My lips will be red as yours if I keep LL. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that lips. Okay, I can't do that. I'm <laughs> saying my lips will be red. All right, all right. See? She's going she to try to make this out. You ain't doing it. All right, let everybody know who your girl Tasha is. So... Like I open up my show and I tell everyone, I'm your girl Tasha, known to the world as Latasha Carpenter. But everybody calls me your girl Tasha because when you hang with me, it's like you are hanging with your girl. And my favorite word actually is bam because I'm always being authentically me. Now that's the opening. But if you want to know who I am, I'm a single mother. I actually was married 20 years, 10 years too long. I always tell that story. I'm an entrepreneur as a result of it, doing my own home-based business that got me out of that prison marriage. Um, I'm a mother of a, uh, my son is 24, and I have a daughter who's 19, and I love him. And I'm just a caring, fun person. I'm your girl. (laughs) I love it. And when I tell you, when she's one of those people that, you know, you guys know one of my sayings is pull the trigger. Pull the trigger, make it happen. And she, I, I'm, I do my best to surround myself with people, friends, and entrepreneurs that make me better. And uh, Tasha's one of those people. Just really um, connecting with her and seeing how she moves, and and I love it. I love it. Now you said, uh, "Bam!" Being authentically myself. Authentically me. Authentically me. Being authentically me. What does that mean? What is why? Why is it so important for you to be authentic? Um, especially during my marriage. There was a lot of times that he wanted me to fake the funk. And I'm not a faker, okay? So, for instance, you know, if things aren't right, I'm putting it out there. He wanted us to act like we was clear hustable. And um, and what's Bill's name in there? I forget, whatever. He clipped. He clipped. He clipped hustable. Yep. And I'm not doing that, you know? And what I've learned is that people appreciate me more when I'm myself. And I think that... Um, being authentic, you don't you don't hide stuff. You don't put on masks and things like that. And sometimes your testimony or your tribulations is what helps heal somebody else. So that's what I try to be authentic at all times. That's that's right. That's that's awesome. That's very very important. And it and it helps you because being an entrepreneur, when people buy something from you or buy a service from you or anything, they're buying a piece of you. So it 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 shows a lot because you've been having a lot of success moving forward in, in that. And, and well, let the people know, what do you do as an entrepreneur? What do you do? Okay. So it, it's two things. I am a um, talk show host on WBGR Entertainment. So that brings in a little bit extra income when people come on the show and they want to feature their self. They can use my platform to get in front of an audience that otherwise they wouldn't be in front of. But my passion, my passion, my passion is with a health and wellness company called Beauty the Beena where actually we provide all natural organic products and we're not a one trick pony. We have all kinds of industries. We, we um, have an awesome 
number one, the original. I don't care what all the other fakers say. The original detox tea, Tata Vina here. Um, we have a cough. We um we have healthy coffees. We have um natural skin. Look, Troy, I have on our foundation today. I put it on just for you. This foundation is one color and it matches every skin tone. So the person could be the color of your jacket and my color. Uh -oh. I'm gonna blend in with them. And I'm going to have it with me that week, and I'm going to be testing people. So you make sure you have people from all shades and tones that's there for the for the Taboo Weekend, okay? <laughs> He's talking about the Taboo Talk Fall Fun Weekend, so if y'all right. don't know. And, and let, let everybody know where you are, too, what what um what state and what city you're in, so they know how they can get in touch with you, too. Well, I'm what they call the DMV. I live in the M in the DMV, so I'm in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. <laughs> that's where I'm <laughs> Double in. Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Yeah. Yes. Very cool, very cool. And and you mentioned about your podcast on WBGR. How'd you get started in podcasts? Well, you know, I'm that crazy girl on Facebook, right? And I do a lot of different lives and I keep it real. I could come on, my hair could be not done or I could be, it doesn't make a difference. It could be four o'clock in the morning, whatever. And what happened, see, WBGR has this guy that was like stalking me on my page. I just <laughs> know he had been stalking me, right? And one day he inboxes me and he says, hey, have you ever thought about having your own show? And I was like, uh, a lady from Atlanta asked me to do a show for her before wanting me to move to Atlanta. I was like, I wasn't doing that. I said, well, I mean, I thought about it. It was right here in the area. We're based out of Atlanta, Maryland. And he mm -hmm. asked me to come in. And that was all she wrote. And was we're going on a year and a half now. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you have the right personality for it. So. It's 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 something that you like I said you're authentic you're genuine um, don't get it twisted y'all she got beautiful skin so the, don't you know sometimes you see people and it's like look this is what it did and somebody gonna come in there like that's what it did it didn't do it for me you know <laughs> we didn't say we said foundation we didn't say recreation oh, that's um, <laughs> right foundation not recreation okay right. <laughs> I like that. We got a foundation. We we can't recreate because some people recreate. feel like I still look the same. Okay. Well, the, it's not going to change. <laughs> you right. Cold blood. Cold blood. Uh, no, and we're not talking about anybody in particular. So if don't be don't be getting all upset bringing the ugliness to the. Why y'all talking about me? We wasn't talking about you. We didn't know you had that problem. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, what's you mentioned your kids? You mentioned um, being. Uh, she, she, Tasha is also going to be one of the speakers. She does speaking. And she will be one of the speakers and presenters uh, on at the Business Life and Love Brunch, closing out the Taboo Talk weekend. And get in touch with Tasha for more information. You got all the information. You got all the goodies. But um, you have children. What do you want your legacy to be? What do you want people to remember, know you for? Not because a lot of times we say legacy, and it sounds like we talk about somebody that's about to die. Legacy doesn't just have to do with that. It, it's what people know you for. What do you want? people to know you for. It seems like you have a great name in the area. It seems like people connect with you and you say, do something, they move. What, what do you want to be known for? What's your legacy? I, I, my legacy and or my fingerprint that I want to leave is I want people to think of me as a, something that inspired them to do something. A person that cheers them on regardless, you know, um, People talk to me about everything. It's kind of like I'm kind of code zero. My man is kind of like, how do you do this? Because he's totally opposite from me. Yes, there is life after divorce, guys. <laughs> Anywho, um, I just want to make sure that I can uplift people and connect them with themselves um, if possible. And just let them just some people need to start a healing process. Matter of fact. Uh, one of the things I just did about two weekends ago, I had a woman's circle at my house and um, brought together um, a group of women that I felt that God told me, write these 10 women names down and get them at your house. And they they came there. And it's funny how, you know, it was just it was about interruption. Sometimes mm. people stress that they need an interruption in order for them to start a healing process. So it was our moment. I was like, turn off all the phones. We turn off the TV. We got some food. We can add some extra minutes to our hourglass. It's all right tonight. But let's go ahead and talk and share um, 
about what's bothering us. And in doing that, some of the ladies were able to learn that other people was going through the same thing. Too often we don't share that we have problems. We we think we're the only person because some people choose to be quiet. And sometimes right. if you open your mouth, it can bless somebody. So I guess my fingerprint is helping and inspiring people and um, letting people know it's all right to be you, period. Be courageous enough to be you. She got me taking notes. You see them? <laughs> That's your girl, Tasha. Let everybody know how to get in touch with you. They want to reach out. They want to find out about you, your business, your products, uh, where you'll be. Let people know how to get in touch with you. So you can find me on Facebook under Latasha, L-A, capital T-A-S-H-A, Carpenter, C-A-R-P-E-N-T-E-R. Um, on Instagram, I am, this is your girl, Tasha. Um, also, you can call me on my phone number. This is a Google number, so you don't think that you could call me and harass me. I'm not going to call her real number. You got to identify yourself, and you're not going to get no answer. But that number is 240 240- Five four five five six nine five. And if you want to take a look at some products or something, um, I also have a website that links to my business page for the for the company itself. Eventually, it's going to be about your girl Tasha, but that is www.yourgirltasha.com. Yourgirltasha.com. And like I said, for those in the DMV, the weekend before Thanksgiving, two thousand nineteen, November twenty second through twenty fourth. Tasha, I'm going to have to highlight Tasha. I'm talking about it so much. Tasha will be in the building. But if you're friends, if you're following her anywhere on social media, ask her about what's going on. She's going to be a big part of that. And she's going to be speaking on Sunday at the Business Life and Love Brunch as well. And I'm going to have my bedroom coffee too. So y'all in there, Taboo Talk Weekend, drink some coffee and you might really have some talk to talk about. We got you. Ain't going to be no talking after that coffee. I can take that now. That bedroom coffee. Ain't going to be no talking. It's going to be some talking. It's going to be the, well, I can't, we're going to go on, I, I'll say what I was going to say later on, because we're going to keep this uh, PG, it's, not, it's like G, it's not even PG, I haven't said it, <laughs> but that bedroom coffee going to make it X, I'm letting you know now, not X like they're going to leave, you're going to be, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Just have you just it's have you protection when you drinking your your bedroom coffee. Just put it that way. We'll <laughs> that's it. The protection. <laughs> She's spitting through the camera. She, I, it got moist. I don't even know where the moisture came from just now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tasha. Thank you so much for letting everybody know about you and what you do and your personality, attitude, and um, I think your legacy is already underway. We look forward to hearing more from you. All right, Troy. And look, I'm inviting you to come and spend a day, an hour with me on your girl Tasha. Okay, I think I'm on it. A great time. So I'm looking forward to looking for a Monday that you're available. We're gonna get you on the show too. Don't, you said number the word. Watch next Monday. Technology. No, next Monday the dude is here with the snakes. Oh, I won't be there. That, that Monday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, no, I won't be actually. No, even on camera, I won't be. <laughs> You'll see me back there like. I don't play. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you soon, Tasha. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.